Okay. So, I feel a bit, like, up and down with this message. Like, I feel a bit, like, I'm happy to give it to you, but I'm also feeling a bit, like, a little bit on pause because this message is going to be, it's not going to be easy. So, I really don't like giving this message, but I have to give it. I have to give it. Those of you who have been feeling extremely, extremely unmotivated, drained, tired, you feel like your source, your natural resource has been just declining, okay? Um, if you feel like your natural resource has been declining, you've been feeling, I'm telling you, this is for you. If this message is resonating already, then you're like, okay. She's fucking talking to me. I already know. If that that already got you, that that right there, that one thing. If you've been feeling not motivated, not in your passion, upset, <laughs> tired, sleeping a lot. I don't know. Just unmotivated. You feel like your health is declining or whatever it is. <clears throat> I just want to say something to you guys. And I hate being the this person that has to do this. But I, I'm, I don't hate it. I have to do it so you understand. Some of you guys have a really dark energy at your home. And I got to say this because it's important. The place where you live, for some reason, it has drawn in. This is like a, this is not, for some of you, this doesn't have nothing to do with you. Uh, some of you, if you're feeling like this at home, you feel like there's like a, you know what, that feeling of somebody's watching you. I'm hearing if you, you you'll know what I'm talking about because when you go in the shower, sometimes you feel uncomfortable. That's why I'm confirming that message for you. It should be a confirmation, not don't make this your story if it's not, okay? This is your confirmation that you've been feeling. I always feel like somebody's watching me or you feel weird in your house sometimes. Like you feel like it's eerie. The, You know that, that feeling of like, I'm not comfortable here. Now, it could be with spirit or it could be with the people that you live with. Either way. <clears throat> it's been dragging you through the mud and I'm gonna say this as as I want to explain it as fucking clearly as I'm seeing it in my head this is for those who have been V Marie this is my point and I again I hate saying this because it's like how do we clear this how do we clear this let me just tell you guys something I'm dealing with this too and spirit told me that there's a lot of other people dealing with it so go talk about it <clears throat> Some of this shit is unclearable. It's just unclearable. They're just stuck there. Like, do you know when energy's stuck there and they're aware that you're aware of spirit, so they start to <clears throat> bother you because they know you're the only one who's spirit spiritually in tune. I mean, uh, this is I'm gonna I have I hate to say it this way. This the fucked up thing is that some of this has to do with like family and uh, it's like connected to family and it's like affecting you and it's almost like they're using these darker oh god this is the way the message is coming out they're using these darker energies to fuck with you like i literally am hearing like they got i hate to say that word but they have like the the demons on standby these motherfuckers are are ruthless they don't give a fuck they just they pretend they love you they come up i'm hearing come up in your dream state they come in your room i'm hearing Twitch your arm, bother you at night. This is what I'm. Come in your room, they bother you, they fuck with you at night. And they act like they love you, but they don't. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give two fucks about you. And you need to, I need to make that very, let me make that real clear to you. They don't give two fucks about you. They're fucking with you and fucking with your aura and your energy. And I want you to know that you're not crazy and that you've been feeling and knowing this for a while now. It's like, I'm tired, Flo, I'm drained, I can't. I don't understand, why can't I just get up and feel motivated? Why don't I wanna go out? Why don't I wanna be out in nature? Because they're trying to trap you, suck you in. And you know what? You you don't even realize how much how many forces you're battling. This is the, the crazy shit about this is you have no idea how many forces you're battling. You're you're literally I'm gonna oh my god you guys you're fucking literally battling these forces. You know how hard this is? Like I'm gonna tell you I'm a very strong person. 
like supremely strong like bitch i am strong strong i've been through like all the shits right i've been through it all of it up down sideways up and around and i just saw a little dragonfly right there and all over the place and i'm gonna tell you something if they can affect me the way they have which i still get the fuck up and do shit and i still motivate myself as you can see i find a way to find the energy but let me just tell you something in between all of what you see it's a drainage force that it is taking it, it feels like it's taking away a part of my energy like my soul but it's not obviously they can't obviously i, I don't give any spirit that type of power but what i will tell you is i swear to god and and this is a message for you this is confirming you're not fucking crazy these motherfuckers are fucking with you or i want you spirit your guide i see specifically a male guide right now standing next to me and he's got all white on and he wants me to show you he says i'm showing you in your perspective because when my dream oh my heart chakra right there my heart chakra right when i said that when i um had this dream that i was in all this white suit which is what, what my guides wear they they're from a different place and they wear white suits and that's how i know it's them because they they're always in white clothing and white suits specifically very clean white suits right and oh i'm getting a headache right there um you know and i know that my spirit animal is an owl i've already met all of my spirit guides and my spirit animals and this is i'm seeing your spirit guide standing next to you and going i'm trying to show you like from my perspective what i'm seeing and like and you know you get mad like why can't you help me why can't you stop it? They're, they're, oh, trust me when I tell you, they are doing a lot of protection. Lots of protection. Mm -hmm. Yes, Cody. The council in white robes. Exactly. Well, the council is white robes, and I'm I'm part of that council. Because whenever I go see them, they have long white dresses on, white suits. Like, they're always in white clothing, and I'm always in white clothing with them. <clears throat> and that's why I'm here, to let you guys know. Like, my, I'm part of that council. I'm here. And, and because I'm part of that council the most... I get the attacks from all different realms, which this morning I had a very unpleasant experience with a, I would call a straight up entity. I don't even want to use the word demon, but, but it's a demon, right? Because in my dream, they showed me that these people that are related to me, uh, they showed me the bath water with like flowers and beads in it. And then they said to me, <clears throat> they have it ready anytime to call up demons to fuck with you. That's what my guide showed me. And I'm like, what? But then I was like, maybe I'm bugging out, right? Because when I go to sleep, I dream and I ask my guide, show me everything. And then I wake up and in the morning, I'm, as I'm waking up, you know, when you're just waking up, someone or something said to me, Hola! like really loud in my face, like, like this motherfucker breathed in my face and took my breath away like that. Like, you know, when you, they take your breath away, you ever had that happen to you? And, and this is a message. I'm sorry. My heart chakra right there. Once again, this is, I'm telling you this for a reason. You guys, you got to move. Let me just straight up and down. They can't come with. Uh huh. Uh, I just got fucking stinged in my right ear. Something just. Yes, go ahead, guys. Do it, baby. Tell me. You gotta move. I'm hearing. Yes, you're. You know what? I'm gonna tell you something. Another thing. Another. Maybe those behaviors and patterns and things that you want to so badly stop. I'm hearing and, and change. It's impossible where you're living. It's impossible. Because you're just going to keep having those voices tell you, go do it, go do it, go hang out with go They're just going to keep bucking with you until you move. I'm hearing this very strongly. When you're ready to move, let your guides know. Start looking out into the horizon. It is time to get the fuck out of Dodge. I'm telling you, don't hang out with these goblins longer than you need to. Get the fuck out of Dodge. These are goblins. These motherfuckers think they own you holding your hand i'm hearing in the car seat while his wife's in the back like what are you doing my guy there's an entity entity in my mirror that a girl take that mirror go outside to the park and break that shit there you go you know because in john and um constantine the he traps the demon in the mirror and he throws the mirror out the breaks it and the demon gets gone so take that mirror outside get rid of that fucking mirror and that's it i don't even have mirrors in my house I don't even have mirrors in my house. My room doesn't have no mirrors. No, I don't do all that shit. But what I will tell you is that these spiritual people, these spiritual, well, cut that. Cut that and erase that because they ain't spiritual. They're fucking dark, 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 dark. These motherfuckers is bringing other motherfuckers to you. Like, yo, bro, this is this hurts my heart that you're supposed to... You know what? It doesn't hurt my fucking heart. I don't give a flying fuck what you do because you're a fucking piece of shit. Of course you're doing that. Of course you're doing that. What the fuck? Like what, what, I want to try this, like this, this, um, 
Chinese acupuncture, but it looks a little shady in there. <laughs> but you know, Chinese places be looking shady all the time. <laughs> it's like a gamble. Hmm, okay. No, but hmm. <laughs> but um, I'm just telling you right now, it's time to move. Is closing up a mirror is enough? No, just get rid of it. Why do you need a mirror? Just go put it outside. I don't. I, if you don't need it, get rid of it. I'm seeing 7-Eleven right there. Um, <clears throat> listen to me. I'm, I'm not. This is not. I'm, I don't. This is why I don't like giving this message. I don't want everybody to be like, "Oh my gosh, she's talking to me." You'll know if I'm talking to you or not. You know, hey, Bia, I Bella. You know, you'll know if I'm talking to you or not because you're feeling. You're feeling drained. It's like wherever you're living, there might. Because I live near the mountains, so wherever I live, like where where I'm living, it's it's a lot of energy portals around here, especially because it's just a lot of portals, a lot of entities and i'm i'm gonna say this clear 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 look i'm i'm not you guys are gonna think this is a racist comment it is not a racist comment i don't i live around i live around hasidic jews that's the anunnaki to me to me that's the anunnaki reptilian reptil i'm sorry i know a lot of you don't want to hear this but to me the the <laughs> the hasidic jews to me hasidic hasidic jews and like hardcore muslim those are anunnaki based humans like you know be fruitful and multiply yeah because your fucking alien master needs more of you so when he tries to take over he can have all you do whatever he tells you to do because god said to do it i don't give a fuck what you think about that message tune out bye see you later that's i'm t i live around all that shit let me tell you something they they think that <clears throat> they own this earth and i'm gonna tell this is why i see it all i see clearly i see it see it see it you know rat faces i'm sorry but that's what i don't tell me i see okay i see with my third eye okay don't fucking tell me I don't give a fuck what you think. You could think I'm racist. I'm, I'm not. I love Jewish people. But what I don't love is cults. <laughs> That's what I don't love is cults. When motherfuckers that look at you like you got a fucking problem. Like, bitch, the fuck? I was the uh, fuck is you looking at me for? <laughs> you know? Yeah, and the, let me just say something. To me, that's the Anunnaki, period. I'm sorry. Anunnaki says, be fruitful and multiply. Come on down here. And this is not about religion. This is about cults. Okay, <laughs> not a religion where people love God and oh, they're all loving, not a cult that comes out and goes, you're going to burn in hell, be fruitful and multiply. Get the fuck out of my face with that shit. Get out of my face, go fucking take a walk and get the fuck out. That's all bullshit. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's, it's, it's a closed group. That's what I'm trying to say. A cult. I'm not talking about religion. Religions are totally... People who are religious and love God, they do th godly things. They give back. They're charitable. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about the people that come in here, act like this whole shit belongs to them. You know, they don't follow the red lights. They have their own police, their own uh, ambulance. Why the fuck the rest of us? The fuck is it? You know what I'm saying? I'm, listen, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I know. Because I'm not saying anything derogatory or offensive. Those of you who are woke will understand. I see the shapes of people's faces through entity. I see them. So anyway, I live near all that. So there's a lot of that floating through. Lots of it. Lots of it. Okay? Lots of it. <laughs> Just a lot of like that mentality of like, uh, you know, thou shall die. You know what I'm saying? No, motherfucker. No. We are free sovereign beings and that's that. And this earth belongs to everyone at the same time. No poor shall inherit it. No rich shall inherit it. We're all one here. And whoever can't accept that is still in the matrix. And you don't like that message because you're in the matrix. So I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. This is a time that you have to understand something. A lot of you need to move from your air. I mean, like, look out into the horizon. I'm seeing somebody, like, standing. And they're looking over. I'm looking over at that lake. And I'm just like, okay, where am I, where am I moving? Where am I moving? Because this ain't it, queen. This ain't it, sis. Not king. This ain't it. This ain't it. If you're comfortable where you're at, this message is not for you. I'm talking to those of you who are like, yeah, I just feel like I'm just stuck here. I'm fucking drained. I'm tired. I don't want to be here no more. I can't do this anymore. I'm talking to that, those people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, see, and the darkness comes from my attached neighbors at home, she says. And let me tell you something. If you're living with people and they have an entity attachment and you're highly empathic, then yeah, you're feeling their entity, sweetie. You are, because you could clear as much as you want. You can't clear other people's entities. You have to understand something. Like, I'm seeing a lime green fucking Jeep right now. You cannot clear other people's entities. Their entities are their entities. They're not yours. Sometimes their entities want to be your entity. And it's like, bro, get the fuck away from me. You're not, I don't, who are you? Why are you in my shit for? Like, why are you next to me for? Like, I'm not, I'm not, no. I'm not, yo, bro, no. 
stop coming to my fucking area Ugh, it's so draining and and it's i'm he- like i'm hearing from fucking real it's so draining and it's a course of action that needs to be taken and i'm seeing somebody like in a land like moving like oh it's just you got like it's it's a lot i'm getting a headache like i feel forced to be here i don't know if that makes sense to you guys it's like oh it's so crazy it's so crazy how do we protect ourselves from them so let me tell you something first things for first always remember that your guides supremely have your best interest at heart and they're doing the best that they can to guide and to protect you however the things you can do is do clearing rituals light a candle put some crystals do salt baths uh, meditations uh, prayers lots of prayers I pray every night before I go to bed Archangel Michael Mary Queen of Heaven all the female goddesses who protect over children and protect over me I'm not afraid for myself I, pre- I protect everybody else in my family you know I'm like protect my mom and I'm sure I'm throwing balls of light at my daughter my mom everybody in the house but for me too because um, you know they like to come to me because Flo is fucking a goddess. So what do they do? They you may you may not see a goddess right in front of you. Oh, but they see it, honey. In the energy world, I'm queen. You know what I'm saying? So they're like, we got to get to this bitch because she is queen, you know? And so what do they want to do? What does the darkness want to do? They want to grab you, queen. They want to grab you, king. Don't think because you're a male either that's not happening because there's female spirit that is very, and we'll say demonic because that's what we understand, that is very thirsty these bitches you know incubus succubus but like on a level of like six thousand and it's like bro the first thing you could do number one if it's a sexual energy you have to not don't do anything sexual around them don't watch porn don't jerk off don't do none of that because you're attract you you're gonna draw them into you if it's like you know a depressive one that you have to go outside and get out of the depression you know it's like whatever there whatever you're feeling you're feeling do the opposite of that so that's how that kind of gets rid of them a little bit it's hard it's not easy you guys if it was easy if it was easy everybody would be doing it that's why ignorance is supreme bliss because they don't fucking know what's going on you could talk to a person right now and tell them what's going on they're gonna look at you like i think you need a doctor it's like no bitch i think you need to wake your third eye up and right now my third eye is pulsating it's exploding with information and it's overwhelming but here's the thing spirit keeps saying if you were in a situation where it was easier uh uh-huh it's an anger one, not physical though. Okay, so when it's anger and mad, you have to send it love and light. So do the opposite of what it's doing. <clears throat> you can't counteract anger with anger. You have to counteract it with love, right? So if it's like flipping out and bugging, love you. I, I, I got this message that it was um, somebody who he's trapped and he like t- st- killed his grandmother or something like that. And he's trapped there and he's mad at the world and everybody's bad now like buddy we have <laughs> i didn't i didn't help you i didn't assist you in killing your grandmother that's on you cuz <laughs> like you need to handle all that <clears throat> that's on you you know what i mean like uh, it's like hello like you need to handle that homie that's on you that's your problem not mine get the f- fuck out of my face with your bullshit you know anyway so real quick because my phone's gonna die and i just needed to get this message out so badly before i i just had to give it to you guys because i feel like this is so important for this next stage bitch you are out you're out i see like i see I, i'm here and take the first steps meaning meaning like if you see um look for places like where you would like to move to or envision yourself moving out like start with that because again you're creating your reality i mean like i feel super nauseous right now and this entities they don't like when i talk about this which is why i waited till i was away from the house to do it and best believe they got little minions that are listening little snitch asses who's standing right here about to go back and tell go ahead little minion go do your job mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. fucking snitch snitch ass bitch <laughs> you snitch ass bitch go ahead do your fucking job little minion spirit how how, how sad why are you doing that like i'm, I'm gonna talk to you i'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know bro. like this time i don't give a fuck who thinks i'm crazy this is what you gotta let these spirits know god damn that mexican music is loud as hell there be mad mexicans around here too you gotta let these minions know bro what are you doing why are you servicing them go and get the fuck go get a fucking servant why are you don't be a peasant. Stop being a peasant and go. Get your peasant ass out of my face. You know? Te amo, Diosa. Motherfuckers are coming out here at all. Fucking. Hold on, moro, hold Like, I love Mexican people and their music. But damn, that motherfucker shit was loud as hell. It was like a Mexican wedding in a car and shit. They're going to have all these, like, 
performers here next week, right there. I'm gonna have all these like performers here and sitting here. <laughs> we had a Mexican wedding in the car. <laughs> okay, so all right, so guys, I'll come back later. Like, yeah, woof. Let's clear it. Let's clear it in ground. You know, I also see it affecting the children sometimes. Like their attitudes get all fucking nasty. Ugh. Yeah, and if you see your child like overeating or over indulging or attitude or on their phone a lot uh try to try to get that you know get get them get them outside i know that's hard because i know that's hard because it's a kid right and they don't listen but try to get them outside try try yeah i don't trust a lot of nail salons anymore but anyway um i love you guys and i calming down now yeah it started calming down because that message you know like i said i i already know my messages people will tune in then i start talking they're like oh she's on that bullshit again but those of you who are around it's because you're spiritually leveling up honestly you're leveling up you're on a whole nother you're not you don't even play in the same dimensions as, the, as these people anyway so you're leveling up like 10 times fold it's like pew, 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 pew. Level, level, level up, level up, level up. And it's leveling up and leveling up. And and for you, you need to understand that when you're leveling up like that, it's like you're going to deal with the bullshit. But also because you're so aware right now, I'm so aware. So aware that a lot of times I just put my headphones on. I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to know shit. Honestly, I'm like, oh, God, please stop. I'm done. Oh, it's so much information. It's like I'm hearing every dimension. I'm, it's it, 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 I get a headache thinking about it. Sometimes I just want to numb myself out. You know what I mean? No, you didn't miss the message, baby. Oh, Brie, by the way, if you guys come, if you can, drive up to upstate New York next next weekend. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it because so far not a lot of people have been hitting back up. But I still, I'm still, i still going to go to Bear Mountain Park and just walk around so whoever wants to come can come. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'll come back later, okay? It is raining, bro. My head. My head, my third eye is pulsating. My brain is fucking rocking, knocking, knocking on fucking heaven's door. Like, <laughs> help me, please. Hi, baby. I'm just tired. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of the shit, bro. I'm like tired. But anyway, I will see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. And I'll come back. I'll come back later. But I got, I'm going to be doing lots of clearing and some prayers and meditation. So, you know. All right, guys. I'll see you later. I will. Yeah, that's where we went. Exactly. To, um, to Bear Mountain State Park. Okay? I'll see you guys later. So just remember, you're going to be moving soon. Tell me you're going to be out of this fucking situation, bro. It's been tough. It's, been, it's not been easy. It's been a fucking... It's not been easy. It's been a ride. But let me go before the phone sh cuts off and nobody sees this message. Because I have a feeling a lot of people need it right now. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.